Hello, this is Ariel with Digital Bytes. Today we're going to talk about the differences between analog and digital waveforms. This is Ariel with Digital Bytes. I'm going to talk a little bit about the differences between digital and analog. This is an analog waveform or an AC waveform. Uh, it is called AC because it is an alternating current meaning that the current is always changing. So if this was a measurement of amplitude or voltage over time, which it is, uh, you'll notice it is always changing. It's never in the same place. Uh, even if you're talking about a difference of 1.200001 and 1.200002, it is different. It's always changing. This differs from direct current in that the voltage stays constant, it doesn't change, it is steady, it is a direct current over time. All right, over time. It was five volts here, it's five volts there, it's five volts there, it's five volts all the way through. So analog, or sorry, let me say uh, analog, synonymous with AC waveforms, and digital, which is synonymous with uh, more direct current type waveforms, I guess to keep it simplistic, uh, have a lot of pros and cons, okay? Uh, <clears throat> first with digital, uh, digital meaning a uh, discrete set of values, you have, uh, just for simplicity's sake, uh, you can have five volts or you can have zero volts. The 5 volts uh, representing a digital 1, on, uh, active, whatever you want to call it, uh, 0 being uh, logical 0, uh, voltage, uh, inactive, or uh, low. Okay. So why do we have the two different types of waveforms? Okay. Direct current you'll find more synonymous with small scale electronics. Uh, a lot of things in your home, uh, electricity when it runs over circuit boards is typically going to be uh, DC or direct current. AC, on the other hand, with its alternating waveform, is going to be more synonymous with higher end appliances, things that use a lot of power, and also electric delivery. Okay? In your wall sockets at your house, uh, electricity is de uh, delivered via alternating current uh, because alternating current has some properties that allow it to travel further. Uh, direct current you'll find uh, once you plug something into the wall, it's adapted from AC to DC, usually through some power supply circuitry and converted to DC uh, for your electronics, also scaled down. Uh, household AC typically comes in between 110 and 120 volts, RMS, and DC, uh, it varies. Your DC is going to vary, although with USB uh, becoming a new standard, uh, 5 volts is becoming more prominent. So, uh, what makes AC better for transmission? When it's on your power lines, it's AC. When it hits your outlet, it's AC. Uh, when it's coming from the grid, it's AC. Why does it have to be AC? The reason it needs to be AC is because there is a electromagnetic property that exists in alternating current that doesn't exist in direct current. Okay, now Let me explain why it exists. <clears throat> electromagnetic properties exist and are exacerbated when there is a change in current. So being that AC is always changing current with its voltage, there is a magnetic property that's induced and it's kind of it's kind of hard to draw, but if you can imagine a field, if you can imagine a little field that's created uh, as the current changes. If the current wasn't changing constantly, uh, this electromagnetic field would not exist uh, perpendicular to the E field. A magnetic field would not exist. All right. So it's because the current is always alternating that there is an emission of this electromagnetic property. Okay. This is what makes it more <clears throat> appropriate for transmission over long lengths of wire. Uh, this is what makes it appropriate 
to transmit through the air. Uh, this is what makes it appropriate to transmit through various mediums. Direct current, because the current never changes, and the current doesn't change because the voltage doesn't change, basic Ohm's law, does not have this property. As soon as the voltage hits its maximum and sits there, there is no longer an electromagnetic property that exists here. Okay? So, uh, this electromagnetic property for the purposes of propagation uh, exists here in the AC waveform. Uh, there is a lot more science behind that, but I just kind of wanted to get into the basic differences between AC and DC. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, I'm RL with Digital Bytes, and I'll see you next time.